welcome to MG Tracy. Well, today I thought I'd do a one year review and also a clean of my Philips Series 5000 a year after I swapped from the Philips Series 3000. So I have found there's a few differences between the two models. I actually still prefer the earlier one where you can flip up the side like that rather than having to click in different attachments. Um, I just find it's easier to have it all in one unit. Let me know what you found in the comments below. Also the bit that does the nose trimming, oh, I didn't find that very effective and had to go and buy a separate nose trimmer. So uh, the other disadvantage I find with the 5000 is you accidentally turn it off because it's such light touch. So if you've got it running like this now and as you're shaving, you just happen to touch it, it goes off. And obviously as you're moving this around different angles of your face, it's almost impossible not to touch it. The, the older version where you had a very definite turn it on, doesn't matter what you do to that, right? You need a real positive oomph to turn it off. This one, just a, a tiny little touch and it goes off. It does have an advantage that if you hold it for three seconds, It goes into a lock mode so if you're going to put that in a suitcase you don't have the embarrassing thing of ending the other end with something vibrating inside your suitcase and then to unfreeze it it's hold it for another three seconds battery life there's nothing between the two of them really so i have found now a year in that this one is not actually uh, getting as close a shave as it was in the beginning so i think we'll go through cleaning these uh, blades So there's just a little thing here, obviously. Now with these later ones, you can wash them under a tap and I've been doing that, but even so, stuff seems to really build up and it builds up within these blades, within behind these blue bits here. So that's the bit that I'm gonna focus attention on uh, trying to give them a bit of a clean. Now, if we have to buy new ones, these are around 30 pound. Uh, the manufacturers say you should only have to do that every two years, but again, let me know how you're getting on. But I certainly find that within a year, these blades are too dull. They're not sharp enough to do what they're intended to do. So often I end up just swapping razors because it's you know about double the cost of just the blades. I mean, when you think that they're selling these three blades for around £30, what does that cost to knock up in China? A couple of quid, it's a fantastic margin. And I suspect there's a bit of doing the same thing like the inkjet printer companies where they sell you the printer really, really cheap and then they actually make their money on selling you the ink. So maybe these Philips razors, etc., are sold quite close to them, the bone on margins, knowing that um, they're gonna make the real money when they just get you to refill the blades. Again, <laughs> let me know in the comments below uh, your views on this. So a little click in the direction of the arrows will release the blue cover. And then we can tip out the three blades. And then within those you've actually got a cover and you've got the blade itself. Sorry if this is jumping in and out of focus. You've got three of these blue covers, three of these guards, and then you've got the actual blades a bit that are doing the cutting. Now you can already see on my fingers and on the paper, there's a lot of stuff coming off there. So I've got a couple of different brushes that I use that come with these things. So I'm gonna give all these six silver bits a really good clean. Now as I clean this, this is all pretty easy, but what I am finding just on the top bit of the actual cutting blade, there's some debris, skin I guess, or whatever. So I'm only finding that actually comes off when I just do that with my nail. So bear in mind this is the actual cutting blade. It is sharp, but it is the thing that's doing the donkey work. Make sure when you look at it closely that you're getting everything off that blade line. You can see some of the longer hairs here. 
Uh, those also tend to get caught in some of the gear in here and slow the whole unit down so it's good to get those out. Now in the covers it's a different sort of problem you can see this is actually longer hair and this is one of the things that's slowing down the motors because that is just getting round, 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 round in there and it's putting like, a lot of extra friction which effectively is slowing down the blades. So now on this head cover there's a different problem, there's actually skin and debris that's got stuck to the inside there which again will be slowing down the blade. This one didn't have anything on the centre but there's a lot just inside there so make sure you're getting in there and obviously you should be back to the metal. Right, I've got that clean. I did find I had to get a little bit of a knife just around the edge there to get all this little area clean and finish with a brush. But obviously it should be looking like that when you finish. You'll be able to see through it quite well. Now if any of these fins on the surface here are broken, you are going to have to get some new heads because those are what are protecting you from coming in direct contact with the rather nasty little blades there. But if you've, got, if you've been lucky and you've got that sorted, you should find these go back to looking like new. Okay, so that shows you that all that came out of there, which is probably a pretty good reason why one year in, it's not uh, shaving as well as before. And I have all my bits there now all clean. So now I just need to put those back together and clip it into the head. Have a shave and see if that is fix the problem and it feels closer. Now dropping these back in may is not quite as simple as you may think so you've got to make sure that these two bits here there's like some extra flanges on the end you've got to make sure you line those up with a corresponding hole in the top of the unit or the head won't drop in to the correct position and it's the same with the covers so you can see you've got the same two flanges they need to line up with the ones in the head here this bit's a bit fiddly isn't it and then once you're in you just do that turn it anti-clockwise and you hear that click and then it's locked in position so there we are we're all cleaned up and we've got the three in position we can now just clip back that head so now that's now ready to just dot back into the motor i guess this is the moment the truth does it sound any different yes it does it sounds faster and I don't know, a cleaner sound. I'll, uh, I'll now just try and a quick shave. Uh, and actually it sounds and it feels much better than it did. I think that's almost back to uh, how it was a year ago when I first tried out the, the 5000. So maybe I've left that a bit long, maybe once every six months you need to give this a really good clean, spend 15 minutes getting all those blades and everything nice, and that will save you the expense of having to replace them. Uh, send me any comments or uh, tips that you have on razors, I'd love to see them, i answer them all. Please like, share and subscribe, you can send us a super thanks to buy me a coffee if you'd like to, that'd be wonderful, thank, thank you to all those who already have. Uh, this is Paul from London and I'll see you in the next video, cheerio.